Good morning, my sweet, sweet friends. Happy Mother of Him Monday. Why is it so dark in here? That'll do. We are here at the blowout. We are here. We are ready for some clean, clean hair. We have our day monsoon moisture mask. Love to see it. We got a little Starbucks this morning. You have a little pumpkin loaf left if you'd like it. And look who came to join me. Cause at 38 weeks pregnant, <laughs> driving an hour away. Or I guess it's a little bit less than an hour, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, a little risque. Uh, got my mask. CBD organic lip balm, obsessed, got my book, got my altar worship <laughs> portraits. I put those in there for Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, I still need to make my altar bag for the hospital. So we are going to get our blowout. We are going to get nice and fresh. This is my week old hair. No crying, no nothing. Love to see it, but let me tell you, keep these blowouts stacked and fresh, just in case. Just in case. She decides to come. Yes. So we'll be fresh. Oh, she kicked me for the lay better. It's so funny you got to come with me today. Um, so we're gonna go get the blowout, and then we're gonna have an easy date since you have to stay off. Make good choices. Make today. good choices, like our amazing Starbucks barista Brad said. Um, we could do a few cleaning things, solidify the hospital bag. My God, I can't believe we have like two weeks left. She really could come at any time now. Mm -hmm. Whoa! She can, she can. Oh! She says the ball's in my court now. <laughs> She said, I make the rules. She said, you just don't worry about it. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We just did a morning practice. Much happening. Sorry, ma'am. So, I have my baby. <laughs> I have my before baby list. I need to reheat my coffee. I have some of my to-do list going for today. I was watching a little documentary. We got the pumpkin candle going. The vibes are being set. We are going to do some nesting today. The wicker bassinet is going to come out. We need to water the plants. I'm going to vacuum. I'm currently making some cinnamon toast. Look at these beautiful flowers Mr. Manifest got me. So sweet. So, so sweet. He actually also got me a card I have not read. So cute. I guess I'll open my card. My 38 week card. <laughs> I'm not an emotional bitch, but he gets me every time. Oh, so sweet. So very lucky. I'm lucky. Love him. Okay. So, very excited. I need to reheat my coffee. I'm going to eat something uh, quickly because uh, recently I just get very nauseous if I don't eat something in the morning. And I've been having kind of just like, I don't want to call them contractions, but they're definitely not like Braxton Hicks, I don't know. My doctor was explaining Braxton Hicks to me and how there's a lot of like misconceptions around them. So I never wanna like use the word, cause she's like Braxton Hicks definitely are just in your stomach more than like a contraction, a real, real contraction she calls it. Did you know Braxton Hicks are named after a man? Can we change that? I think we should change that. But anywho, I've been having, it just feels like period it feels like when your period is going to come and it's been happening since ooh. honestly that's not my business i know i live in the wilderness that was a large animal but anywho i've been having it for a little while now so and it, we're just gonna see what happens it's not my business i told miss baby lace stay in there until a certain date we have a date that i would prefer to go into labor and do um 
so I'm praying that she respects me. Uh, let's see. We also have on the agenda today, we're going to be doing some freezer prep meals, which I'm very excited about, and just getting some healthy things prepped for the week right now. And yes, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow I'm very excited for. We gotta get this day going and flowing, my, my ladies, my lerves. me realizing that i'm gonna have a baby i'm not even scared of labor that's the thing it's more just like the build up to it you know what i mean where it's just like i don't know when this is gonna happen so but boy am i excited for this toast Yum, yum, yum. Take some of the toppings. And I really love doing this because the kale Caesar, I love like all the cruciferous vegetables, but sometimes it's too much on my stomach, especially because there's Brussels sprouts in there raw with the kale. Um, so I love just getting some romaine or even iceberg and mixing it in and it helps so much. I love me a bag salad and even uh, when I was doing things like Project Blissful Body or something um, I love getting bag salads and then either just making my own homemade dressing so it's a little bit lighter or what I love doing is getting either some of those bolt house dressings I like those they are a little bit lighter on your stomach sometimes these make me a little sleepy but I'll probably save half of this for Mr. Manifested to have when he gets home. Mix it all up. And we have a quick salad before I start cooking and prepping all of this yummy food. We're gonna do a, bro a vegan broccoli cheddar soup, some healthy pumpkin muffins, and then I think maybe like my collie mac even. We're gonna make some yummy things, my sweet, sweet friends. And I was like, do I wanna cook or do I wanna clean? I really am not a cleaning person. I feel like I just don't have it in me. Like I'm like, I, I love the idea of it. I love when things are clean, but I don't have that like touch. Mr. Manifesta does, which I guess is why I do most of the cooking and he does the other part. Okay. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. So I am getting ready to prep some vegan broccoli cheddar soup and I thought I would take you guys with me to cook and prep this meal. So we have two big heads of organic broccoli, two organic zucchinis, some veggie broth, nutritional yeast, 
and then this is just some roasted garlic rosemary sea salt seasoning and then i have some potatoes steaming in the microwave right now so this is a super simple soup what i really love about this soup besides how easy it is is it's so simple to sneak more veggies in so even though it's just really a broccoli soup super easy to sneak carrots in zucchini in the whole nine yards um and it's honestly just very delicious so getting tons of micronutrients in tons of fiber in and it'll just be so good to have on hand so i think i'm going to freeze some of it but then also keep some on hand because I am 38 weeks pregnant now and it's just nice to have oh nice to have healthy options at the ready for me so we're going to do this and then I'm also going to prep some smoothie bags today that I'll show you guys um, because just having my green smoothies as much as Mr. Manifest says that he'll be able just to help me and um, make them I want us both to be able just to have things ready and easy so i am just going to chop up these two zucchinis and half of the white onion that i have left over in the fridge uh wash the broccoli wash the zucchini and then we will get to it <laughs> i really love doing the broccoli um in kind of big chunks and we are going to blend some of this soup so definitely i love having the stalks i know we can buy a lot of broccoli now that is kind of more pre-cut but this the whole broccoli really does taste better and i personally do notice a difference buying organic i know people always give me a pretty hard time about that but buying organic is important to me if it's not important to you don't worry about it and this would be super easy to do also i think with frozen broccoli Feeling I will be needing more of this also but I just thinly sliced the onions and gave those a rough chop and now I'm going to do the zucchini pretty much any vegetable that you need to get rid of super easy if you have like spinach or kale that is on its way out super easy to throw that in there also And because we are going to be blending some of this soup, um, zucchini, I just gave it sort of a rough chop. And if you don't want to use potatoes or you don't have potatoes, zucchini is another really great way to add creaminess to the soup. But potatoes are how we are going to make the soup super creamy uh, with no dairy. Or you can use something like coconut cream, soak some cashews, and that could be a really great option too. Start chopping this broccoli and the stems I am going to include and I'm going to leave those a little bit bigger so they're kind of easier to find so I can blend those up. I'm just going to use my Vitamix but a hand mixer or a Nutribullet would be super good also. Oops. 
Now, can I just fill it with just enough to kind of cover everything? And we are going to let that boil. Let that come to a boil. See, I just slightly covered the vegetables because the thing is you definitely want this. Personally, I want it on the creamier side. So we have the potatoes done and then I will just blend the potatoes in the Vitamix with some of the vegetables leaving some chunks and i just really love this soup because you can eat it with rice you can eat it with more potatoes you can eat it by itself there's so many ways to eat it and it's just again a super simple easy way to get more veggies in which we love waste time on the wrong program. i've always felt like other programs try to push like they're the best thing out there they also tell you like you know no carbs and no lose weight, just eat yeah. veggies and fruit. That's not that's not the case, you know. The shred is so easy and so convenient. You were really wanting to teach us how to transform ourselves. The truth is when people say that they're gonna get in shape, they do two things. They and tell me if this sounds familiar to you. One, they start eating less because the only way to lose weight is to burn off more calories than you consume. That's just science. And two they start doing more cardio, jogging, riding a bike, doing the elliptical, because they want to increase how many calories they're burning to lose weight faster. A week second quiz where you'll answer Yay. six easy questions. And after answering those six questions, we don't need your email or any information from you, but it will take you to a video where I explain why these things don't work and the three most important things to do in order to get into better shape than you were in your 20s. So, Click that link, and I'll see you inside. I'm so much happier now. It's actually, my marriage is better than ever. You know, I have older kids, you know. No one even believes I'm their mom right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would say if anyone is on the fence about doing a t-shirt or not, I would. Cool. So I took all those veggies, almost all of them. I left a little bit in the bottom of the pan. And then I just put them in the blender. 
with that bag of potatoes and I these are actually my favorite potatoes let me show you them where did the bag go did I throw that away I did these are the Rayleigh's gold potatoes organic potatoes they're just like those steam in a bag potatoes you also could use something like the little potato company I know pretty much everywhere everywhere has that and then I saved two little potatoes and some more broccoli to just throw in uh, for you know just a little more that way it's not all blended and I did leave some in the bottom and now I'm going to just season it so the nutritional yeast is what gives it that really like cheesy taste um super good has uh the nutritional yeast has b12 protein iron really amazing and i did the cooking vegetables i did add some slap your mama seasoning because delish so let's add this broccoli in to let this cook a little bit and then we will add potatoes also get those in there to get all pinked amazing just chop up these potatoes i just like i'm normally a russet potato person over like any other potato but for some reason these really ones are so good Mm. Add a good amount of nutritional yeast, stir that in there. Then I'm also going to do the juice of a lemon. It kind of helps with that cheesy flavor also. So good. I am so excited to have this on deck this week, but then also some in the freezer and also did not take long at all to make. Yum. I think I'm going to have some right now.